Welcome back to another episode of Dominique Pernay's course on celestial navigation. My name is John Pinto. I'm an amateur astronomer and mathematician, and I'll be presenting Dominique's course for you. Today, in our episode number 21, we're going to look at uh, finding the sun's height without any interpolation for declination minutes. This course is based on Dominique's book, Celestial Navigation, and the accompanying exercise book. You can find out more about where to order these books at marinenavigationbooks.com. There you'll also find the uh, slide deck for this course, and you can also download a free PDF of the exercise manual. Could take a moment out to talk about the site reduction tables themselves. Um, this course uses a specific set of site reduction tables. There are many different kinds of site reduction tables, but this course uses a specific version of them. So in the USA, they're called Site Reduction Tables for Air Navigation, publication number 249. And in the UK, they're called AP3270, NP303, Rapid Site Reduction Tables for Navigation. Uh, these are published in three volumes. Volume one is issued every five years. Volume two and three never changes. Volume one is called Selected Stars, which we'll cover in a future episode. Uh, this has to be um, updated every five years due to the precession of the Earth's poles. Volume two covers latitudes between zero and 40 degrees, and volume three covers latitudes between 39 and 89 degrees. Both volumes will handle declinations plus or minus 29 degrees, which is enough to cover the sun, moon, and planets in 30 of the 57 navigation stars. And we'll talk more about the navigation stars in a, few, in a future episode. Okay, HC. Site reduction tables, as we saw in our last episode, gives not only the azimuth angle of the sun, from which you can calculate the sun's bearing, Zn, but it also gives you the altitude above the horizon, HC, of a celestial object above its geographic position, as seen from the boat at an assumed position. HC needs to be known within a minute of angle, which requires interpolation, but Today, we're not going to be doing that. Today, we're going to just take whole uh, degrees of angle for uh, declination. And again, just remember what we're doing here. Uh, we're in our boat. We observe the angle of the sun, call it HO. But the tables are going to give us HC. And the difference between the two will tell us how far away we are from the calculated, the assumed position where the calculated altitude came from. This uh, particular technique for locating yourself on the Earth using a difference between HO and HC is called the Mark St. Hilaire method. So again, we'll take a look at our um, site reduction tables, 249. Um, and again, you could see that uh, you have to know which section to go to for declination and latitude of where you are, and whether you are in the same hemisphere of the boat and your celestial object, uh, or contrary to the uh, north or south hemisphere for the boat and the uh, celestial object. So here's an example of using the site reduction tables to uh, pull out HC. Here your boat is latitude uh, north 49 degrees, somewhere near Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, and Canada. Your, the declination of the sun happens to be 17 degrees south. So the first thing you notice is that the sun is in south, the boat's in north, so you are on contrary names. So you can make sure you go to that section of the tables for latitude 49 degrees. So the declination of the sun being 17 degrees south is probably around November 10th or January 29th. Um, you also determine that your LHA is 8 degrees, so you're just a little bit past noon, most likely. Um, and the sun, if you go into your table, again, you go 17 degrees declination, 8 degrees LHA, where they cross gives you your HC, as you see here. Let me make sure my pointer's on. And therefore, the sun will appear to be about 23 degrees and 37 minutes above the horizon. Now let's do an, an, another example. 
Here again, we're looking at HC. We're not interpolating for minutes of declination. So the boat's at latitude 40 degrees north. LHA is 35 degrees. Sun's declination is 22 degrees north. And what's the calculated altitude? Now, in this case, we've got north boat, north latitude boat, north declination sun. So now we're going to be looking at uh, same name. Here we go. Declination, same name. We've got our uh, declina <clears throat> declination of the sun is 22 degrees. We've got our LHA of 35 degrees. We can see where they cross, and it tells us that the sun altitude above the horizon at that location is 55 degrees in 21 minutes. All right, now you have an exercise um, that you can do in the exercise manual. Again, we're looking at doing this without any interpolation for the declination minutes. We're going to estimate the sun's declination for the dates in the exercise, and we're going to calculate the sun's estimated GHA for the times of the sites. And as you see when we get to the exercise, there's enough information to actually have you do this without even using the uh, nautical almanac. Uh, what you're going to do when you go into the exercise book is you're going to um, look up the site reduction table with that information uh, that's in the appendix of the exercise book. And you're going to pull out the Z, calculate the ZN, calculate the HC for the whole numbers of LHA, LHA sorry, and whole degrees of declination. Again, no interpolation for minutes. And here's that exercise. It's number 16 in the book. Um, you can read the directions, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the one thing I will tell you um, is that the sun will be assumed to have crossed the Greenwich Meridian at exactly noon for each day um, posted in the in the site, whether it's 22nd of June, 22nd of September, or 22nd of December. Um, you'll notice that those are very special dates in the year um, for the sun, and that should give you a good hint as to what the declination of the sun uh, should be on those dates. And from there, you'll be able to indicate whether um, the boat, which is at these latitudes, is going to be same name or contrary name. This gives you the UTC time of the sun site, which is going to help you uh, knowing that the sun crossed the Greenwich Meridian at 12 o'clock, um, what the Greenwich hour of the angle of the sun is. Again, this should be Pretty straightforward um, based on what you've known so far. Here's your assumed longitude of the boat. Knowing these two, you should be able to calculate LHA. And going into the site reduction tables, you're going to pull out the HC for the degrees of declination. Um, then you're going to calculate ZN from Z. And you may or may not need the 180 or 360 degrees here to help you with the calculation. And here's just a reminder of how you get ZN from Z. All right, so that should do it for uh, for this week. And next week, we're going to do this one more time, but this time we will uh, interpolate for the minutes of declination and show you how that's done. And again, it's fairly simple. Uh, there's tables in the, in the site reduction tables to help you with that. And uh, we'll see you next week. And uh, then you'll know how to do ZNZN, ZNZN, HC, uh, for all the minutes of declination. Thank you very much.